Hey guys, it's your Powtoons pal. So your teacher has assigned you a new project to work with a new team of people. Well, hopefully this video will prepare you for the group dynamics that you are about to face. The first stage of group dynamics is when the players are just getting to know each other. They're exchanging information and meeting one another, trying to avoid hurt feelings and just looking to be accepted by one another. Trying to determine what the organization and routine is going to be to carry out a plan for the project. It's a lot like putting bricks together to build something. We're not sure what the goal is yet, but we know that we all have to work together to accomplish it. The second step in group dynamics is one called storming. Now this is where the, the different members of the group begin sharing their own unique or personal ideas and perspectives. Staying with our brick analogy, Sometimes ideas just don't fit next to the other one, so this is often a stage of development where we can have minor disagreements or we can begin to learn our roles uh, in the group. Uh, it allows for time for the group to resolve issues and determine exactly how their group is going to grow. This can be a time of great frustration on some of the team members' parts, and it takes a very strong leader to make sure that the team does make it through this particular stage of development, because it is a critical one. We must learn how to appreciate and also properly critique others' ideas in the name of a common goal. It is this recognition of a common goal that marks the new stage in development, norming. This is when guidelines are clearly defined and the responsibilities are given for each individual and they all see and work toward one common goal as a group. In our brick analogy, we would say that they all can now see the wall that is to be made. They have moved beyond their differences and all have a sense of appreciation of each other's skills. It is a shared vision and appreciation of one another that ushers in our fourth and final stage of development as per Tuckman, and that is of performing. In this stage, the team members have reached a state of independence and trust, and their energy is used to drive, accomplish, and complete the tasks. The team is motivated and has gained knowledge now and can display that. In our analogy, they now have what it takes to complete the wall. Abigail and I were assigned the stage of development of storming and of course as we've shared this is a stage where students will start to disagree on ideas and roles that they would like to play. Uh, one example we thought of is that when you are assigned groups and students are given the choice to choose their position like a leader or a recorder or communicator there may be disagreements on who's going to do what so students will have to work out these issues uh, in terms of position and roles on a team. Another example would be when the group comes together and they come up with ideas, but then there seems to be some disagreement as to how they would best share those, such as PowerPoint or Word or Keynote or any of the other Web 2.0 collaboration tools. The best way for groups to work this out is to make a pros and cons list to see which is better fit for the information they'll be presenting, or maybe a list, or maybe to list which program they are most familiar with if they want to go that route. It's really up to the group to share and work out these issues if they are to succeed in their presentation. We also used a couple of articles uh, in addition to the ones provided by the professor. One of those was on the four stages of group dynamics and then secondly the stages of group development and the links are shown here. Abigail and I actually spoke that the four stages are relatively easy to see amongst our team here at Cornerstone. The forming part really has been worked out since we've all been together since the beginning of our program. And the storming, for the most part, is kind of worked out between new partners as we get assigned to projects. One example when we really came together was in the last class when we did a combined or a collaborative professional development class for teachers. And I felt like that we not only came together with good norming ideas, but we actually performed well to do a collaborative online presentation. Using Google Hangouts, emails, and voice phone calls, we were able to assign roles and accomplish a pretty nice task that ended up being turned in as our presentation. Abigail and I hope you have enjoyed our presentation on the four stages of group dynamics and we look forward to seeing 
the other team's efforts. Created using Powtoon.